Hi, you're watching Think Big, a program about where and what to study in Ukraine and how to spend unforgettable student years. We've seen so many interesting things at the National University of Life and Environmental Sciences that we decided to come here again. Where's Serhi, you ask? There he is. Well, have you plowed the field? Very funny, I spent the whole night here. Now you're ready to film the second program about NULES. Ready, let's go. The National University of Life and Environmental Sciences of Ukraine was established in 1898. It consists of three educational and scientific institutes and 13 faculties. The university enrolls 28,000 students and employs more than 1,500 teachers. The university offers students 41 bachelor's and 65 master's programs. Currently, the university cooperates with 145 educational institutions from 43 countries in the world. This modern veterinary clinic differs from a normal one only in the fact that its patients are four-legged and other domestic animals. We're performing Julie's ultrasound now. Is it going well? In addition to Julie, this clinical center provides medical aid to cows, calves, horses, ponies, goats, sheep, piglets, and there's even a pheasant farm on the territory. Students from the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine come here to gain knowledge of diagnosing, treating, and preventing diseases in a wide number of different animals. All the necessary conditions are provided for them here. A reception room, an x-ray machine, an operating room, and laboratories for conducting hematological and biochemical research. There's even a pet hotel where animals can relax after the treatment. And this veterinary clinic also has the first and only blood bank in Ukraine. This refrigerator contains plasma, while in this one the blood of dogs and cats is stored. Of course, veterinarians focus a lot of attention on theoretical studies. In addition to the usual classrooms, they have a unique museum of anatomy, which has no analogues in the world. Elephants, hippos and even a whale are in the museum's collection, which has more than 2,000 exhibits. In addition, the experts of this museum and the department are the only people in Ukraine who know the technology of polymer embalming or plastination. The exhibits made by this method were invented by the Germans, but we made our own modification of them, and they basically have become eternal. They resist mechanical damage, do not rot, do not exude unpleasant odors, and do not stick. The Germans give a 50,000-year warranty, the Russians 10,000. I'll be more modest and say an undefined, but very long time. None of our contemporaries can check this. And during all this time, students will be able to study the body structures of animals and birds, which they'll have to treat later in their careers. My turn. Four. Trade Union Committee. How much for it? I'll take it. I will buy for myself a Trade Union Committee. Thank you. Look, this is an exclusive version of the Monopoly game developed by students of the university all about NULES, building number 8, building number 2, and an agronomic station, in a word, all that relates to this university. But it also has all kinds of interesting tasks or prizes. An annual payment to student day is 100,000. A whole 100,000. Give me 100,000. Games, flash mobs, various shows and events are all within the purview of NULES student organization. Of course, just like every other student council, it's also concerned with serious matters, but entertainment is still preferred. This isn't only studies, but also opportunities to have a great time. We want and do everything to make sure that students spend a fun and interesting time at our university. This gives them incentive to gladly return here and be proud of studying at our university. University. Among the 50 entertainment events hosted by the university every year, there are some special ones. For example, Holosivska Spring is a traditional student festival with almost a 30-year history. It is a kind of a competition between the faculties, in which each faculty creates its own theatrical production, accompanied by dancing, singing and various theatrical reprises. But what NULES students love the most is the Boyarska Forest Research Station. And the reason for this isn't because it is a modern research and training complex, but above all, because every autumn the so-called Agrarian Republic is held there. Agrarian Republic is a place the Agrarian Republic is a place and time when all the students who manage to get there 
and this is quite a challenge, have a chance to fully reveal all of their talents. We have an official schedule starting at 7, with a morning workout and ending at 3 a.m., with various mafias and poker tournaments. Everything that happens during a year at our university, all sports, cultural, scientific events, everything happens there in three days. It is not easy to end up in the agrarian republic. Each faculty team consists of only 10 students and everyone has their responsibilities – a leader, a motivator, an economist and spokesperson. In addition, everyone should be prepared to engage in sports and creative competitions. It has its own president and its own ministry, and for four days it's managed by the student council. Another interesting university faculty is located outside the city. It's the laboratory of quality and safety of agricultural products. However, there is a bit less time for students to have some fun here, because the lab administration gives priority to science. In our laboratory, we conduct research of various safety indicators, which are required in compliance with the relevant standards – DSTU, ISO and European documents. These are indicators of polyaromatic hydrocarbons, pesticides and microbes toxins. Such studies make it possible to find out, for example, the level of toxicity in sunflower oil or other floodstuffs. In addition to finished products, they also research the environment, water, soil and air. In general, the laboratories carry out testing based on more than 200 indicators. They also study the influences of radiobiological effects on agricultural products. The Department of Radiobiology and Radioecology, which was created after the Chernobyl disaster, specializes in the monitoring of how radiation affects the environment and vice versa. But you don't have to wait for some specific event in order to realize your abilities. At NULES, they approach the issue of opening up the horizons of their students' creative potential thoroughly and quite originally. This is the specific job of the Department of Cultural Studies. As many as 15 studios work there. These are vocal, choreographic, instrumental and theatrical groups that regularly perform at citywide and all Ukrainian events. And of course, no university event is complete without their participation. Everyone can join these studios regardless of their specialization. And studying there is free of charge for NULES students. We choose those young children who may have some musical education, have practiced choreography or have played in some theater club, and then we invite them for personal auditions, and I choose the best of the best for our own classes. Natalia Shalipnitska, an opera singer and people's artist of Ukraine, has been teaching at this department for over 17 years. She's one of half a dozen well-known Ukrainian artists who help NULES students realize their creative abilities. The singer explains such a thorough artistic approach for students of an agrarian university by the needs of time. Anyone who has mastered the profession of an economist, a lawyer, an agrarian manager, a cybernetics scientist or any other will be invited to join some team. And we know that if a person is bright with a vivid personality and can demonstrate certain skills, then this person has what it takes to become a team leader. And this will already bring them some additional dividends. And in fact, the main task of our department is developing well-rounded young people. Not only humans and animals get sick, plants also do. This is mucous bacteriosis. This and other phytopathologies are studied in this training laboratory. After all, here students learn extremely important things – how to identify and even prevent the onset of many plant diseases. This topic perhaps has more nuances than in human or veterinary medicine. Determine the pathogens, the stage of a plant's illness and conditions promoting the infection. I'll even add to this that the timing of sowing matters in this case is highly critical. As a result, a graduate of this department will not only be able to skillfully determine the nature of a disease, but also professionally diagnose it and understand how to manage it. The Faculty of Plant Protection, Biotechnology and Ecology also works in developing new technologies for the farming of agricultural crops that are beneficial to the health of people and animals. Currently, there are about 40 plant species grown in this laboratory. Orchids, bananas, blackberries, gooseberries – these and other captive-born specimens will soon grow just like others. In 
backyards and on farms. Together with teachers and like-minded people, you will have a unique opportunity to create a safe agro zone in order to grow environmentally friendly plant produce. Turkey, Egypt, Libya, Germany, Belgium, representatives of 28 different countries are studying at this university. In total, NULES has contracts with universities in almost 50 different countries of the world. As of the academic year 2019, more than 300 citizens of other countries were studying at NULES. The university's popularity abroad is obviously increasing because the number of foreigners here has been growing by an average of 50 or even 100 students each year. Most often they join the faculties of veterinary medicine, ecology or management. In most cases, classes for foreign students are provided in the Ukrainian language at our university. Therefore, we have introduced a preparatory department for foreign students who need assistance in mastering the language, as well as certain other disciplines in the specialization that they find the most interesting for themselves. Thanks to the Center for International Activities and European Educational Programs, and ULES students can study abroad. Moreover, this opportunity is accessible to those who study in practically all specializations. There are two mobility programs at our university, Erasmus and Mevlana. The latter was designed exclusively for students from Turkey here in Ukraine and for our Ukrainian students in Turkey. Erasmus is a similar mobility program, and it operates between our university and our partners in the European Union. And ULES has such partners in 20 European countries and 20 to 25 students are given the opportunity to go study in the EU every semester. Oksana did so as well some time ago. Now she is a postgraduate student of NULES, but when she studied for a master's degree, she opened the university's website, found the relevant sections, submitted an application and necessary documents, passed interviews and went to the University of Wroclaw for one semester. The grades she obtained in Poland were valid when Oksana returned to Ukraine. Thanks to the fact that the European Union provided the funding, I had enough for travel and certain leisure, shopping and everything else. There is also an organization called ESN. This is the Erasmus Plus Students Organization, and they provided financial aid for our leisure. They invited us to skating rinks and organized parties so that we could get to know each other. And ULES students can also be granted internships abroad, primarily in Europe and usually in the summer months. This is even easier because about a thousand young boys and girls take advantage of this opportunity every year. How nice would it be to know that only the best things would grow on this land? Today, this is reality. Over the past decade, a real technological revolution has swept through the agronomic field. Scientific advances allow owners to work much more efficiently and at the same time take care of the environment. At NULES, several laboratories monitor the latest developments in agriculture and impart knowledge to students. Here, for example, they study soils. Using modern materials, the researchers can analyze more than three dozen different parameters and find out which plants will give the best yield on a particular site or what fertilizer will be the most beneficial for a particular soil to yield the best crops and not to ruin the land parcel. Listen here, I of course don't understand much, but for me the main thing is that this laboratory was created by real companies and real employers. All the reagents and equipment are real and identical to those used in agricultural business. This means students here receive hands-on experience and valuable knowledge. So, colleague, have you changed your mind about switching your profession? You know, I guess I will pass. But why? The thing is, to become a true agrarian, I'll have to study for at least five years and also constantly practice self-improvement. All the more, everything is constantly changing. So I think I'll just stick with filming programs about Ukrainian universities. Well reasoned. So shall I see you in a week? Will do. That's all for today. This was Think Big. We paid a visit to the National University of Life and Environmental Sciences. That's it for now. See you in the next program and remember always to think big.